Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is a daily devotion and today's scripture passage is taken from the book of John. John chapter 15 verse 4 and it states, Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I'll read that again. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. No scripture links. This passage can be found in John chapter 6 verse 56 which states, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Now I'm going to read a song, uh, but I'm going to read the words like a poem. And the song is Abide With Me. Abide with me, fast falls the evening tide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When others help us fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, oh abide with me. Swift to its close, ebbs out life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O thou who changest not, abide with me. I need thy presence every passing hour. What but thy grace can foil the tempter's power? Who like thyself my guide and stay can be? Through cloud and sunshine, oh abide with me. I fear no foe with thee at hand to bless. Ills have no weight and tears no bitterness. Where is death's sting? Where grave thy victory? I triumph still, if thou abide with me. Reveal thyself before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth vain shadows flee. In life in death, O oh Lord, abide with me. Praise God. And we need to remain grafted to God, a branch that bears fruit, as we've read about today, and is healthy, is rooted in fertile soil. That fertile soil is the source of all life. Now, for a Christian, we need to be grafted and rooted in God in order to sustain ourselves, to produce fruit and to have that uh, life flowing through us through the beating of the Holy Spirit. And the act of communion, as we've read today, is a way in which we can remember God and feast upon him in our own hearts and feed on him spiritually. Amen. And remember, share the word and feel free to comment, like and share this video widely. And God bless you all in the days and weeks ahead. Amen.